Hello, my name is Jerome Page and welcome to the 1960s Project Week 13. While we're waiting for folks to join, let me describe the 1960s Project. Today is our 13th broadcast. What we've been doing is recalling, remembering, and reflecting on the 1960s. Those who have been sharing their views were in high school during the years 1960 to 1969. Except for one show, we had someone, we had a group on who were in elementary school in the 1960s. I wanna welcome everybody who's been recalling and watching and re reading and commenting on everything. I, I really appreciate it. Since our theme is tiny thoughts and large memory, memories from the lives of the 1960s high school graduates. We've covered quite a bit of ground. Uh, today will be our last show for this season. We will be picking back up on Jan uh, Tuesday, January 5th. So I hope you'll rejoin us then. In the meantime, we'll be sharing thoughts and memories through our blog and on our website. Uh, my guest today, which I'll bring up in a minute, uh, is a graduated from high school in 1966. But before I bring her on, or before I introduce uh, the program a little bit more, I have three asks of everybody. One is I ask you to like and follow my Facebook page, What's on Jerome's Mind. The second ask is for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can watch the other 12 broadcasts. The third ask is to read and comment on the blogs on our website. And we'd like to get your comments. When we think back on 1966, what was on our minds then? One of the things that was on our minds was war. In the year 1966, unfortunately, 6,350 U.S. servicemen were killed in Vietnam. In 1966, the opposition to the war was increasing as well. Also in 1966, the Civil Rights Act of 1966 was killed by a Senate filibuster. That act was designed to a, a, a ban discrimination in housing and education and other aspects of American life. And that bill would ultimately be passed in 1968, honoring the unfortunate assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. Music was on our minds in 1966. The top R&B song was Stevie Wonder's Uptight. Uptight, everything's all right. And this was a song about those without privilege trying to make it. It was one of the very early songs of social commentary that Stevie Wonder produced and sang. And in this year, in October 2020, he continues that tradition when he released a go-go sound. And it, the title of that is Can't Put It in the Hands of Fate. We have to take action. So war was on our mind, civil rights were on our minds, music was on our minds. Our guest is Peggy Beecham. Peggy graduated from the Philadelphia High School of Girls in 1966. Because of scheduling challenges, we recorded our conversation with Peggy. Again, this is our last broadcast for this season. We'll pick back up on uh, January 5th in the new year. But in the meantime, uh, enjoy, watch and enjoy the conversation with Peggy. And we'll be back on January 5th after this conversation. 